Jeez, Nicholas, come back in the house. Yeah, back in the house. Yeah, back again in the house. Yeah, I'm in that house, man. Today, or today again, we are back with LXLE, or as I like to call it, Lixi, which is Bantu based on LTS. Latest version, nicey nicey. Does this what it says? Because it's LXDE, man. It's LXDE, yeah. Does what it says on the tin. Now, this is slightly different from the last video done on LXE, and I actually preferred the look of the last one better. But hey, who am I? You can fiddle around with it and get it a little bit better. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Being LXDE, all nicey nicey. Remember, we're doing a full install here. We've got a full install on a real machine, so it's dual core, 2 gig, Intel, Pentium, do free, do free, do free. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, sure. So you can see my CPU is doing a bit of work now, for a simple reason, I'm recording at the same time. Yeah, and it's HD 1080. I don't know, I know, I should have kept with my other card and smaller screen just stretched it like I used to. It been so much easier. But anyway, can't help that, can we? I'm not using much of my RAM here. Oh, I just see my HD hard disk is not doing anything because I've got hardly anything on there. I know, I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah, I know, it's really good, isn't it? We'll go through it with you. So, being basic LXDE, <coughs> Down here, got all the usual, as you would see. My volume control is down there, doing its stuff and its ragamuffin and ting. Oh yeah, baby. I've put an icon on the desktop for Firefox because it's just easier. Most people who want to use the system will be coming from Windows, I would imagine, or you just want a really light system that's based on Ubuntu, really, in the day. But if you can put some, if you've got a Windows user, old machine, and you put their icons on the desktop, they ain't going to want to go anywhere else, really, at the end of the day, are they? No, they won't even want to do any screen recording or nothing. They just want to browse the web and do their stuff. So anyway, we've got our two workspaces here. As you can see, using Voco screen to record. Over here we have left click to iconify all windows. Over here we have our random wallpaper. So if I click random wallpapers, it'll do random, baby. Random. Oh, there's a shelter over there. Let's see it. If you move your mouse over to the left hand panel here, or left hand side, whatever you want to call it, we have a quick launcher. So we've got Firefox web browser there. Claws mouth or your mouth. You can change it to Chunderbird if you want to. Okay, it's entirely up to you. Pigeon, LibreOffice. Osmol, Guadalquivir, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I love Guadalquivir, oh, it's lovely, it's just, it's just not consistent at the moment, but it's getting there, but it's a really great player if you've never used it before, it's in your repo, just go give it a try now, you can always understand it later, can't you? We have the Lubuntu Control Centre, I'm going to quickly open that for you, as you can see, simple, small, does what it says on the team, yes it does, get your additional drivers here, change your panels, stuff like that, your backgrounds, input devices, networks, all can be accessed from here. Okay. Also over here we have our system task manager and down here we have our Ubuntu software center where you get all your stuff. So I'll open the task manager up for you. I don't really need to because we've got this up here in a little widget up here. But as you can see, we're only using 200 mega my RAM. Now if you're not recording, it's going to be a lot less, okay? A lot, 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 lot less. Because if you go down here, look, using 40 meg just for double FMPEG for recording, okay? Then number 33, for focus screen. So, you know what I mean? You're getting down near the hundreds, don't you, really, for stuff like that. Anyway, we'll go to the menu, you give a quick look. Not going to be a long video, because it's just not going to be able to. So many t stuff to catch up on, it's unbelievable. But hey, that's what happens when you have to study. Yes, it takes all your time away, man. Under accessories. <clears throat> well, as you can see, you get lots in here, by the way. There's lots installed by default. I'm just going to go through a quick few with you. So, Catfish is here. Clam is here for virus scanning. Yeah, alright. PC Man FM File Manager is there. Galculator, GDisk Dump for dumping applications. Gnome Commander, oh yeah, baby, for File Manager. It's not so open just for a laugh. So, look. Yeah, sorry. So, I mean, old school, baby. Old school, old school, old school, old school, old school. Yeah, yeah. just went back about 20 years in. Hey, where was we? Yes, okay. Parcel Light, a quick launch. Random wallpaper, which I've just clicked anyway. Rocks Terminal, Screenshot, and Xpad. And the games. Bloody hell, they say. Is this right for LXDE? Yes, because it's Lixi, isn't it, baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's plenty of games for you to get going down. So you've got Chromium BSU, which is for blowing things up, I think. Yeah, something like that. Foo Billiard, for playing billiards. Okay. Frozen Bubble. We all know what Frozen Bubble. Hearts. Jeweled is here. I'll just open Jeweled up for you. We'll get normal. You know what to do, don't you? You do know what to do. Don't lie. Just go like that. There's so many games of a similar name out there. So you know what I'm saying. Bye. No, we don't say. Bye. Anyway, back to the menu. Should we go back to the game? Yeah, we will do. Mahjong is here. Breakout is here. Mines is here. You know what I can't see? You know what I can't see? I can't see Steam. You can install it yourself. Bearing in mind, you will need a reasonable graphics card. Okay? Yeah. I don't mean the crap. I mean a real, real reasonable one. You have to spend some shekels. And the graphics. Document viewer. Font manager. 
GIMP Image Editor. And yeah, it's okay. LibreOffice Draw, Shot Well, Simple Image Reducer. That's very good. Oh, that's a nice one. So you can just reduce them really quick. What for for your email or picture? Not that it really matters these days with broadband because it just uploads so quickly. Uh, but if you're on a slow speed, I know some people in the States are getting throttled and strangled by their ISPs. <sighs> Give me a slap, really. You may want to do that, but otherwise, it'll take ages. Okay, under internet, <clears throat> Claws Mail, FileZilla, Firefox, Flush, bit of stuff. Laferia, download from Feed. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's not the best RSS reader, but it does the job, okay? Din phone for web phone, okay? Remote desktop viewer, XChat. Under office, full Libra office suite is what I like, and Osmo, 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 Osmo. We need one. Here he goes. Hello, Osmo. Here again. Oh, by the way, here in the UK today, it's bonfire night. Yes, yes. Uh, Guy Fawkes, all that. Blown out hairs of Parliament. Hang him. Drawn him. Courted him. Hang him. Drawn him. Courted him again. And stuff like that. Yeah. He died. Because he told somebody and somebody wrote something in a letter. Yeah. Anyway. Could have been so much different. Where are we? Sound and video. Asunder. Audacity. Brazero. Quite a cute. Shall I, I'll open it up for you just so you can see the interface. Because some of you may never have heard of it. It's actually changed slightly from when I last used it. Which wasn't that long ago. But they're always bringing up new versions. So it's pretty good. Good drink in general. <laughs> really easy to use. Got a nice equaliser in there. Does what it says on the tin. Okay. I will get rid of it. My little panel down there, and I also get rid of Osmo while I'm there. Anyway, we were, we were yeah, send the video, weren't we? Mini tube, a movie player, open shop by default, Pithos for Pandora, oh, Pulse Audio Volume Control, Voco Screen, which I installed, and WinWF for doing your WinWF stuff, okay? System tools, bloody hell, we could be here for a while here, but I'm not going to go through them all. It's LXD, you get a lot anyway, and the Ubuntu Control Center, and the Ubuntu Software Center. Yeah, I know something. So I'm going to open the Ubuntu Software Center. I'm going to see what goes down. So we're going to search for a quick package, and we're going to call... There it is. So we like that, don't we? We're going to add that to our basket. This is how you install stuff in the Ubuntu, by the way. Add to the basket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go to our basket. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you want to install the package? Of course we do. We click on install. It wants to be password, so we'll track that in. And it will start the loading, baby. Just like that, just like that. I'm going to open that for you so you can see what's happening. It's getting all the stuff for you. Oh, I come from the US. A long way to go, isn't it? Yeah, what do you think about it? Okay. I'll just have a bit more drinkage while it's doing that. <laughs> in the past, I have found when using the Ubuntu software center, if you try and install more than two or three applications at once, it stops working. Yeah, you don't worry. It goes, no, I'm not doing that, mate. It goes, no, I'm not doing that. Do it again, and you have to do it again. But if you're doing one or two, it normally it works out all right. I've not tried doing more than three on this system. For some reason, I ain't got round to it. But it's still trying to download stuff, yeah? It's still trying to download stuff. Was it just installing? I don't know. What's it doing? What does it make its mind up? No. See, it's all got stuck there, really, isn't it? When you think about it. So uh, we'll leave that to go on, and we'll go and do something else, okay? So we'll go to desktop. Do have my shoe. There. Anyway, what else under system tools? There's not much new I can tell you. <clears throat> oh, you get PPA manager, which is rather good. Under preferences, as you can see, it is really configurable. If anybody tells you that it is LXD, isn't it? Is okay. You just have to maybe put a bit more work into it, and it will run. Well, one, one. My name Barry Quipke. It will run on older machines, whereas KDE will struggle. Okay, that's the main thing. Your terminal run, search, log out. If I go back to the Ubuntu Software Center. Oh, if you will. Let us see. It got stuck, baby. It don't know what to do, baby. See, I've had this trouble before. Okay, and bearing in mind, it's only Abbey Word. It's a full install. It's not virtual box. Okay, so if I go down to System Tools, we open up a Task Manager. We'll see what's doing the business here. Right, let's have a look down here. Should we open it? Oh, oh, it started doing it. See that? I went to smack its bottom, right, and it started doing stuff. Okay, so now it's installing Abbey Word. <laughs> Doesn't take long, as you can see. It's not the most super duper duper one, but it does the job and it's very nice. So, if you don't want the full LibreOffice suite, you can just take it out, okay, and make it even smaller. I think they've done this for Lixi basically because some people don't like having a plain vanilla Lubuntu or LXD. They find it a little bit difficult 
to get stuff and to make things look how they want to do. So basically what they've done here is just make it look like a normal system, like the old school gnome, gnome system. And there it is, you know what I'm saying? But it's all successfully installed, as we can see from up here. Yes, thank you very much. So if I now go to, here we go, Office. Abbey Word is here. It should open up. See how quick, that's a lot quicker, isn't it? See? A lot, 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 lot quicker. It's 292, so that's nice and nice and new. Not the most current, but it does the job. Lixie, I do like, although the default look, I'm going to change that picture because it's done me urgent. Hang on, look at that one. It's that one. Oh, that's better. The defaults here for the bar and the, the grey colour, I would change personally. But hey, I'm not going to keep it as my default system, am I? I'm just showing you guys, man. Just showing you. I really like it. Really nice. Go and give it a download. It's not too big. It looks on most systems and it will do anything you really want it to do. Nicey, nicey. You know what? 95%. Sneaky. Linux. Gang out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.